You think that you can have a say in how Ned votes Olivia and Leo shares, but Olivia is her own person, and she's not gonna vote a certain way just because Ned wants her to. I completely trust her judgment. Why, thank you, Michael. <laughs> wow, that was the most naive statement or the most masterful job of sucking up I have ever heard in my well, life. Put a sock in it, Brooklyn. I've lost count. Are we yay or nay for Olivia and Leo to have the shares? Keep up, fish and chips. Ooh, she's delightful. Oh, don't look at me, that's all Ned. Standing right here, Granny. I am so aware. I'm sorry. There must be some mistake. There's no way you started the stock meeting without me, right? Look, Nell, I couldn't, I couldn't stop you from throwing a memorial for Shiloh, but now you are trespassing and in violation of your parole. Okay, so one call to the police and you are thrown back in Pentonville, you understand me? Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, she won't. Nell has every legal right to be here. Who are these people and how do they keep getting in? Did you adopt an open door policy in my absence? It also works as an exit, Tracy. Oh, Tracy, your housekeeper was kind enough to let us in and Martin Gray, my lawyer, was just parking the car. So everyone meet Martin Gray. Martin Gray meet the Quartermains. Pleasure. You were just explaining my right to be here. As widow of the late David Henry Archer, AKA Shiloh, my client has inherited the shares of ELQ bequeathed to Shiloh from Oscar Nero. Nell, if I were you, I would take your smooth talking lawyer and turn around right now because this will not end well for you. Did you just threaten me? <laughs> My father is way too smart to make threats in a room with people and two lawyers. Okay. Do we no longer qualify as people? Thank you, Brooklyn. And of course, no threat was intended or implied. I am merely pointing out that ELQ is a family company. The family owns all the stock. And the underhanded way your murdering cult husband got his hands on this stock Alleged murder. means the final disposition of those shares is still at issue. Translation, we will tie you up in court fees and appearances until you are old and gray. We'll also take it upon ourselves to dig into your history and any other instances of fraud. Of which I've heard there are a lot. So basically, we're gonna make your life a living hell. You so much as jaywalk, we're gonna be on the phone to your parole officer. The stock is mine. Shut, Shut up. up! All right, settle down. There's no need for all this hostility. Speak for yourself. We have a temporary injunction from the judge that says while the final disposition of the probate is being decided, Nell gets to vote David shares. You, earn your keep. Explain why that injunction doesn't apply. 